Hey guys, Omkar here for Simple Snippets. In this tutorial, we are going to learn what is trial balance and an example on it. In previous tutorial, we have learned the ledger. So if you miss that video, then please refer to that video first because it is very much important to create background of ledger first for learning trial balance. So here we start with the tutorial on trial balance. After posting accounts in ledger, a statement showing debit and credit balances of each account is prepared known as trial balance. Now here, a trial balance is a statement showing debit and credit balances of each account. In previous tutorial, we have opened Hari account and Ravi's account and other accounts would be open in similar way like cash, bank, purchases, sales, purchase returns, etc. So trial balance is a statement which shows all the accounts in one line by another and all debit and credit balances of such account is shown in that statement. So it is a statement and not an account. In this statement, debit of total of all accounts must match with credit total because of double entry system. We have seen already that in double entry system, each debit has its own credit effect. So that's why if we take all accounts and their balances, total debit balances should match with total credit balances. If total does not match, then there is arithmetical accuracy. Hence, why trial balance is prepared? To check the arithmetical accuracy, first thing, and another, to know the balance of accounts in a single statement. For these two reasons, trial balance is prepared. This is the format of trial balance, serial number of all the accounts, ledger accounts are written, then ledger folio. Here the effect of ledgers and their balances on which page is written in ledger book, that page number is written in ledger folio column. Here the debit and credit balance would be written. Now there are two approaches of preparing trial balance. First approach is total method or gross method and another is balance method. Now what is the difference between these two? In example it will be clear. Before taking an example, we should know what are the balances generally shown by certain accounts. So we would first take some list of accounts and their balances. Now here we go in logical way. We would first think of what is the type of account and what are the major transactions occurred in that account. So here we start. First account is capital account. Its general balance would be credit balance. First of all, capital account is personal account is proprietor account and capital is the money which is introduced by proprietor into the business. So it is credit the giver. So by that rule, it will generally have credit balance. Vice versa, drawings will always have debit balance because drawings means proprietor is withdrawing money from business, we would debit proprietor's account. Rule of personal account says debit the receiver, hence drawings account would be debited and balance of drawings account would be debit. Purchases would have debit balance, real account, debit what comes in. Expenses, nominal account, debit balance. Incomes, credit balance, nominal account rule says credit all incomes and gains. Opening stock, debit account, debit what comes in. Here you should note that it is opening stock. Closing stock would not reflect in trial balance because it is an adjustment entry and its treatment is different than opening stock. Loan taken. Loan taken will always have credit balance because person who gives loan will be a creditor and rule of personal account says credit the giver. Vice versa, loan given will have debit balance. Cash will always have debit balance. Cash is real account. Also another way is cash is asset for us. Any asset would generally have debit balance only. Interest received is income for us. Nominal account rule sales. Credit all incomes and gains. Assets would always have debit balance. We have already discussed that. Suppliers account is credit balance. Suppliers gives goods to us. That is, we purchase from supplier, so suppliers are 
creditors to us they are the givers and rule of personal accounts is credit the giver sales returns sales returns which means goods we have sold to customer he is returning back to us so goods are coming in debit what comes in so sales return would have debit balance purchases would have debit balance we are purchasing goods from supplier return outwards return outwards means purchase returns so goods are going out of the business credit what goes out so return outwards would have credit balance investment would have debit balance when we purchase investments investments comes into the business and that's why investments would have debit balance goodwill is an asset to us assets would have debit balance so these are some important items and their balances as you saw more and more examples you will naturally remember these balances so there is no any need to deliberately remembering these accounts and their balances so here we take an example on trial balance from the following prepare gross trial balance and net trial balance as on 31st march 2017 first we would prepare gross trial balance and then we would prepare net trial balance on 31st march 2017 so here we make the format of trial balance first gross trial balance and second is net trial balance another important note you should have is trial balance would be always as on particular date so in this case it is 31st march 2017 first is cash debit 21500 so in particular cash in debit 21500 bank debit 13000 bank debit 13000 furniture debit 21000 furniture debit 21000 creditors debit 13700 creditors debit 13700 debtors debit 22000 debtors debit 22000 rent debit 5500 rent debit 5500 salaries debit 2900 salaries debit 2900 cash credit 14300 cash we have already written there so it's 14300 capital account credit 62300 capital account 62300 bank account credit 2900 bank account credit 2900 furniture account credit 400 furniture 400 creditors credit 14000 creditors credit 14000 debtors credit 4800 debtors credit 4800 rent credit 900 rent credit 900 so here we have posted all the balances totals which were given in the question as it is to debit and credit we would take totals total debit is 99600 and total credit is also 99600 here you can see that totals match so here what does this debit and credit totals means we have seen in previous lecture in ledger we have taken in hari's and ravi's account debit totals and credit totals these individual totals are written here in debit and credit so gross trial balance is one in which total debit totals and credit totals are written for each account and then total is taken and total would match so what is net trial balance net trial balance is trial balance in which net balances of individual accounts are written so here if you see we are writing in this column as debit total and credit total but here in net trial balance we are writing debit balances and credit balances so here we go cash bank in similar way till capital so here we have written all the accounts as it is from gross trial balance now cash 21500 total debit and total credit is 14300 so in net we can say that 21500 minus 14300 which means 7200 we are having excess debit balance so it would have debit minus credit 7200 would be debit balance similarly in bank 13000 minus 2900 which comes to 10100 would be debit balance in furniture we would have 21000 minus 400 20600 as debit balance in creditors 
थर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड माइनस फोर्टीन थाउजेंड विच इज कमिंग टू थ्री हंड्रेड इन क्रेडिट साइड बिकॉज क्रेडिट इज एक्सेस सो थ्री हंड्रेड क्रेडिट बैलेंस डेटर्स वुड हैव ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड माइनस फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड डेबिट बैलेंस रेंट वुड हैव फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस नाइन हंड्रेड फोर थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड डेबिट बैलेंस Salaries would have two thousand nine hundred as debit balance, and capital would have sixty two thousand three hundred credit balance. And we take total again: sixty two thousand six hundred debit balance total, and credit balance total also sixty two thousand six hundred. So here again, the trial balance would tally. So that's all, guys, for trial balance tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to share it and to subscribe to our channel. Peace.